We definitely can confirm it, not because we have evidences, but sometimes if you don't have evidence, you have indications. Uh, Turkey used uh, those terrorists coming from different countries in Syria. They used the same method in Libya. They used Syrian terrorists in Libya, maybe with other nationalities. So it's self-evident and very much probable that they are using that in Nargoni Karabakh. Because, as I said earlier, they are the one who started this problem, this conflict. They encouraged this conflict. So they wanted to achieve something, and they're going to use the same method. So uh, we can say for sure that they've been using Syrian and other nationalities of terrorists in Nargoni Karabakh. Uh, let's be blunt uh, and uh, clear. Erdogan has supported terrorists in Syria and he's been supporting terrorists in Libya. And uh, he was the main instigator and initiator of the recent conflict that uh, happened in, uh, that's been going on in uh, uh, Nargoni Karabakh, between Azerbaijan and, and Armenia. So uh, I would sum his uh, behavior as dangerous uh, for different reasons. First of all, because it reflects the Muslim Brotherhood behavior. Muslim Brotherhood is a terrorist extremist group. Uh, second, because he's creating war in different areas just to distract his own public opinion in Turkey from focusing on his behavior within Turkey, inside Turkey, uh, especially after uh, the, his scandals, scandalous relation with ISIS in Syria. Uh, and everybody knows that the ISIS used to sell Syrian oil through Turkey mm -hmm. with the umbrella of the American Air Forces and, of course, the support of the Turks and the involvement of the Turks, not, not the support, the involvement mm -hmm. in selling this oil. So this is his goal and this is dangerous. So whether the international community should be aware or not, the word international community in reality is only a few countries, the great powers and rich countries, and let's call them the influencers on the uh, political arena. Uh, the majority of this international community is complicit with Turkey in supporting the terrorists. So they know what Turkey is doing. They are happy about what Turkey is doing. And Turkey is armed for those countries in fulfilling their uh, policies and dreams in this region. So no, we cannot bet on the international community at all. You can bet on the, international, on, on the international law, but it doesn't exist. There's no institution to, to, uh, to implement the international law. So we have to depend on ourselves in Syria and on the support of our friends.